Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a very quick update coming from the folks at Weta Digital. So sometime last three months or two months ago, we did talk about Weta M and that has to do with the pipeline system that the folks at Weta have been working with and they're yet to release this for private beta so that everyone can work with. It is very interesting to see that they have started expanding on that with the brand new announcement of Weta Hedge. This is a combination of Houdini's world-class procedural tools and at the same time Weta Digital's award-winning solutions and they're announcing that this new cloud-based system will be also available for individuals and also for studios. Now it's for them to take advantage of the deep integration of Weta's very own tools that is deeply rooted in Houdini. The very same thing for Maya is what we're getting for Houdini as well. So if you'd like to read more about this, you can simply go over to the press release where you can read up on some of the comments and also some of the things. As you can see here that the CEO says that partnering with side effects, the creators of Houdini was essential in realizing our visions for the cloud service. Now, I cannot imagine doing this without them. So this begins to bring to mind that probably we might be having, you know, not just Houdini and not just Maya, probably very soon we might be having 3D Studio Max. There's also a couple of teas about some tools that was not shown in the trailer, which you can see here within the release note, the Loki multi-physics server and high performance computing paradigm, which has been used for some shows. And this is also one of those things that might make a lot of sense once artists get their hands on it. Meanwhile, there are certain tools that you might be getting to work with that deals with the universal solver for real world physics there's also the city builder and it's a procedural city generation system which i think most of you guys may want to work with as well there's also the mpi distribution for high performance architecture and a couple more that you might be having your hands on once this is available now both weta h and weta m would be available for private beta within the fourth quarter of the year so if you would like to stay tuned to it or probably you would like to stay informed, you can go to any of these pages. I'm going to put a link in the description and click on the stay informed button to get informed once this is available. And for now, there is no idea for what the pricing looks like and also what the system specification would be. All we know is this is going to be a cloud-based system and it will be software as a service, which means there might probably be a subscription at the end of the day. And that's about it. Of course, I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Link to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And tell me what you guys think about this one. And until I see you guys next time, peace.